Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August, 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. Boy, is this a very special time. This is a blue moon month, meaning that we will begin this month with a full moon and also end the month with a full moon as well. And in the middle of it, we've got quite the surprising new moon energy also. So let's take it one at a time at the very beginning of the month. This full moon is going to take place at the top of your sky, having to do with career and life purpose and your goals, your understanding of what a higher, more loving vision for your life could be, your understanding of what it is you desire to align with in a higher sense as part of moving towards your destiny and creating a legacy that you feel good about. And so you can see here, this is a part of the sky that can feel rather consequential. In the immediacy, it could be career-related opportunities or insights or maybe even what's happening with your boss. But in a larger sense, it's very much about your understanding of what you're creating with your life and how it is that you desire to be known in a larger sense as well. And so this full moon is going to be speaking in a conversation of tension with Jupiter and having a quick moving alignment with Mars as well. Now that Mars energy suggests that there could be opportunity that shows up now. You may have to respond to it very quickly to make the most of it. However, that Jupiterian energy is rather interesting with Jupiter in your sign. Uh, your expectations might be heightened, even inflated. Uh, someone, perhaps a boss or someone in position of authority, might be exaggerating or overpromising. I'm sorry to say, but it does happen. This is something to be especially mindful of in interview or audition types of situations. What your impression is, what you're being presented with, and the actuality of what is to unfold might end up being different in some way. You may be getting a perception of something that is very lofty. Oh, wonderful opportunity, but the reality is that the nitty gritty is not necessarily clear, but may end up being important. So. Pace yourself and be yourself, as I like to say, especially in the days around this full moon. It is in the middle of the month on the 16th that we will have this month's new moon. And this new moon will take place at the foundation of your chart. In contrast to a part of the sky that the full moon was in, so visible, and a full moon, of course, fully illuminated, brings visibility to you, this, in contrast, becomes the most private part of the sky. New moons inherently also have a measure of privacy to it, as moons technically become new in the dark of the moon. Now, Having said all that, this new moon is rather fascinating. It is close in the sky to a retrograde Venus, your ruling planet. Whatever happens with Venus, you feel it that much more because that is your ruling planet. And wherever Venus goes, it's like you know yourself differently by focusing on or feeling more interested in that area of life. Related to your past, related to your living situation, your family of origin, perhaps your parents, where that applies, uh, related to making peace with what has been, and related to your own sense of rootedness. But what we also have uh, with this new moon is Uranus, speaking in a conversation of tension with precision. Isn't this fascinating for you, that full moon that we start the month with? It's speaking with Jupiter in your sign. Now we get this new moon in the middle of the month, speaking with Uranus in your sign. These are big conversations. And especially with Uranus, there's an erratic factor here, a surprise factor, if you will. New moon energy bring with them new insights, new possibilities. With a square to Uranus, you might have to consider the new very quickly. And that really is okay too. Whether it is very quickly an opportunity to move, a necessity to move, these are some things that can show up very quickly, feeling a strong desire to be home, whatever that means for you, go back to your roots, whatever that means for you as well. 
to have an understanding of your past and especially with the new moon like this, a different understanding of your past that for some Taurians might feel especially surprising. I would even say there's going to be some Taurians out there that feel like what you learn about your past or your family's roots is mind-blowing, completely unexpected. And yet it is hand in hand with the energy of new beginnings promised to you at this time. Where it is that you've wanted to make peace with the past, reinterpret the past, well, this in an instant might help you to do just that so that your path to the future is that much more accelerated. As we navigate to the end of the month, that full moon is our blue moon that is set to take place and it happens in a friendship part of your sky. Key distinctions of this full moon are that it is close in the sky with Saturn. It is also making a quick moving alignment with Mars as well. And so again, we have this energy where it feels as if out of nowhere, uh, there's provocation, there's getting a rise, whether it's a friend who behaves that way or you. But then we've got Saturn there advising you to be the mature one, to hold back in some way. Now, outside of that, though, this energy can actually be really encouraging in how it is you come to understand who's really there for you in terms of your friendships as well. The friendships that are real will prove just how strong they are at a time like this. It's also decision time in some way, uh, who stays, who goes, and that includes in professional group settings. So where it is that perhaps you're being honest with yourself about a group situation, your contribution to it, what you're getting out of it, this is a moment where either you're going to give your whole self to a particular project and see it through to fruition, or it's going to be a turning point moment where you say, okay, my work here in this group dynamic is done, and that really is okay as well. This is consequential. When we have a full moon hand in hand with Saturn, well, it's about making a mature decision. It's about taking responsibility. And sometimes maturity and responsibility mean being honest with yourself. In this case, about who other people in your life are to you and what that's going to mean for you in terms of you moving forward with whom it is that you are now. Now, where it comes to matters of love, let's go back to that new moon taking place right in the middle of the month on the 16th. That new moon being so close in the sky to a retrograde Venus is going to highlight some key issues that this Venus retrograde might be about for you. With this Venus retrograde season being spent with Venus at the foundation of your chart having to do with your past, well, it is the past of love that is stirred very strongly for you now. I do think this suggests very surprising ways in which you may have to look at people, matters, emotions of the past as part of deciding what it is you're going to carry forward, what your new beginning is going to look like from here. For those of you open to meeting someone new, I would not be surprised if you ran into somebody very randomly who is somebody that you were connected to before. This is that awakening on the level of past, but I would be a little mindful with that square of Uranus. The first impression is not what it actually is. And um, it, it looks like it might actually be an uncomfortable moment. I'm so sorry to say, but that doesn't mean it stays uncomfortable. So pace yourself, be yourself. I think that's the second time I'm saying that to you. But yeah, that is something that's a really good strategy to take. Whatever shows up, ultimately, it'll be for your highest good. For those of you just starting to date someone, well, this, in addition to running into someone from your past, could be related to uh, learning something about this person's past, someone that you are dating right now. Or maybe it is that something that you haven't been so readily open to discuss comes forward at a time like this as well from your past. And there is that surprise quality, that out of nowhere quality where you're having to look at where this person has been before, or maybe they feel like they're dealing with that with you. So share what it is that feels right for you to share. It's a good idea to stay open. I feel like whatever information comes forward, it'll take you by surprise. Because Venus is retrograde, breakups that happen 
tend to not stay broken up and yet do whatever it is that's right for you to do just because you learned something about their past or them yours doesn't mean it's a deal breaker. Actually, it might be a bit of a shock, but then very quickly becomes one of those things that you learn about each other. And for those of you in an established bond, what a remarkable time this can be. In the context of established bonds, well, if you live with this person or want to live with this person, this Venus retrograde season has been awakening all of that for you, how the two of you live, how comfortable the two of you are. Uh, that's been stirring as part of this larger Venus retrograde season, and this new moon is going to awaken that in ways that are surprising. So whether it is you wanting changes to the home space, you wanting changes to what the living arrangement is, or perhaps them, um, outside of that, just the practical matter of where you live, this can also be related to wanting to feel more at ease. And where you haven't felt that, um, some of the reasons why may be coming to the surface now. It's always up to you to decide what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances. I do think with this energy, the past could show up in surprising ways, but it's like for some Taurians, finally dealing with looking at some matter of the past with your partner can really clear the air as part of understanding the best way forward for you. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. Well, look, in addition to the things I mentioned on the 23rd of this month, Mercury will officially go retrograde. Mercury going retrograde in a heart-oriented part of the sky for you tends to also suggest that you might randomly reunite with lovers from the past. Um, at the very least, an awakening of heart, a remembrance of what it is that's going to make you happy in all kinds of ways could be happening for you now. The chance to have fun that is deeply meaningful to you is likely to awaken. This is overall a very positive Mercury retrograde season. So stay open to the possibility, knowing that in the midst of all these energies that can feel rather intense, there's also pure moments of joy. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign. For as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com, you get expanded exclusive video scopes, access to exclusive live events, perhaps even consultations with me, Synchronicity University passes, and so much more. All of that in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you so much again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.